Jermaine Genius is a man in a world of trouble. Not only was he sacked by the BBC and kicked out of his own bedroom by his wife Ellie for female colleagues, but he now has to contend with some of the messages going public. A 38 year old woman, who I can't name for legal reasons, that helped organize events such as high end parties during the World Cup in Qatar, has gone to the Daily Mail with screenshots of her WhatsApp chat with Genus. And I have to say, it makes for grim reading. Genus kicks things off by saying, hello you, followed by several heart eye emojis. The woman replies with hola, to which Genus responds, this language does it for me, and you don't need to say sorry, I love it. The woman then sends over a sticker giving a hand hard, and Genius immediately tells her, I keep thinking these are pics of you when they arrive. When it arrives, I'm like, oh nice, I finally get to see this body. After the woman informs Genius she's heading to the beach with a friend, Genius states, okay, I mean, I do want to see you in a bikini, so feel free to put her off for a day. You can't blame me. The woman says, I can, but I won't. To which Genus queries, you won't what, wear a bikini? Once she makes it clear it's him she wouldn't blame, Genus simply says, lol, good, I wanna see it now. This is when the woman attempts to draw a line in the sand and says, I'm working and I'm not the type who sends pics, I hate it. Genus goes on to explain himself, I know, but you know what it's like when you're away. Since I saw you it's been on my mind, that's all, I just like the tease. This is the part where things begin to get mighty. Up. Genus finds out the woman did indeed opt to go to the beach with her friend instead of meeting him, and messages her saying, Not happy. You rocking that bikini I wanted to see. This is your cue to show me the bikini. Once Genus realizes things aren't really going anywhere, he tells the woman he has two spare tickets to a Calvin Harris gig. The woman informs Genus she can't make it as she's too tired to go out and will Netflix and chill instead. To which Genus replies, I've been trying to Netflix and chill with you the whole month. Genus then tells the woman that Calvin Harris is his boy and the reason he'd managed to get the tickets in the first place. When the woman didn't understand what he meant by boy, Genus says, hang on, you want my boy now? Followed by laughing emoji. Unfortunately, he sends the woman a picture of him holding his She doesn't respond, he asks if she didn't like it, and after she doesn't respond again, he blocks her. I mean bloody hell lads. Genus's game with the ladies, it's almost as diabolical as his punditry. Now, in all seriousness, my reading of the situation, and do let me know if you disagree, is that the woman was trying to be polite, but remained clear throughout that she wasn't interested. Genus, as a former Premier League footballer, current TNT sports pundit, and multi-millionaire, wasn't used to taking no for an answer, decided to press ahead anyways, and ended up overstepping his mark. Now, is what Genus did morally and professionally wrong? Absolutely. He has a wife and four kids, and shouldn't have been using his clout in the industry to try and talk a stranger into sleeping with him. But then again, the BBC don't really have a leg to stand on either. These are the same pricks that protected the likes of Jimmy Savile and Hugh Edwards, and by sacking Genus without a moment's hesitation, they're essentially putting him in the same camp as the pair of them. Which, frankly speaking, is complete and utter horse Obviously, Genus was playing with fire and eventually got burned. He should be thanking his lucky stars in some ways that the woman did reject his advances, because sex outside of marriage is illegal in Qatar and punishable with a 7 year jail sentence, so things could have been much worse. Believe it or not, this is just the tip of the iceberg. The woman in question here only decided to come forward and get in touch with the media after Genus was sacked by the BBC, which means we're yet to find out the specifics behind why he lost his job, with several more women and intern text messages messages set to be revealed in the coming weeks. So shit's only likely to get more and more ugly. Peace.